Probably, and so that's a blessing. So please be in prayer for him. And uh, let me before we head out for lunch this afternoon. Is there any? Does, is there anything? Uh, you know, Canada is a foreign country to us. It's not that different. But you know, so is there any any of the kids or anybody that has a question for Brother Gander about Canada? Um, he'll be glad to answer them for you, won't you? On the spot, right? You'll be glad to answer them. So, does anybody have any questions? Any of the adults too? Um, this is your opportunity. All right, uh, come up here, brother. Who? Uh, I, I don't even know. There's probably one right in Toronto. I, I, I'd have to look it up. I have no idea. Uh, I have a buddy who's uh, getting on the right track with the word and stuff. Okay. He's about to get stationed there, so. It's it's probably somewhere core to the city. I mean, if there was no traffic, you can get anywhere from our you know, from our church in like half an hour from the core of Toronto. But the problem is, is it's a it's kind of a zoo down there. So there's just there's roads everywhere and traffic gets gets nuts during out the week. So depending on how he wants to travel, if he wants to go by bus or, or by subway or, or by car, I'm sure you could you could pass on his contacts and yeah. and they'll they'll help him. Yeah, we'll help him figure it out and na- navigate and that. that stuff. And, yeah. Is he from he's from here? Sta- yeah. Get stationed at the embassy. He's with, yeah. Right on. Okay. Yeah, because Marines run the the security right at, yeah. at embassies. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Is it, uh, I was listening to the radio station and they were saying that uh, Romans is a, uh, is a no-go uh, for preaching. They, Romans 1. A lot of, a lot of, yeah, a lot of parts of Romans is almost like hate speech. Hate yeah. Speech. Yeah, I mean, that, that verse, uh, you know, the Jews who both killed the Lord Jesus and are contrary to all men and, mm. and that and, and, and verses like that. Uh, because because the two protected groups are, are are Jewish and homosexuals, so to to say anything of offense for them would be definitely considered hate speech. I mean, we have a guy that was up in the West Coast, I believe. What cuts his name? I don't know a whole lot about him, but um, he he would just go and hold up signs that would say Leviticus twenty eighteen, mm. and he would just stand there with signs and stuff. And he actually went through the whole hate speech rigmarole got got sued got fined like ruined because of it um they basically on the books it's completely illegal to preach anything that would be deemed hate speech and we know that that's basically anything that offends anybody but i'm offended by certain things but my my offense doesn't matter because i'm a christian right (laughs) Right. so so if if it's offensive to the world basically which is getting more and more where it's just whatever the bible says right then um, on the books, we could be persecuted and, and, and prosecuted and sent to jail. Um, you have to get a big enough lobby. You basically have to anger enough people to have them bring it to the Supreme Court. It takes a whole bunch of time. But in the meanwhile, let's say a man like, like, like Whatcott or whatever, if he would have just gotten through all of that, and then in the end they say, okay, you're innocent, and you were just, you were just preaching your Bible, well, then he's already spent time in prison. He's already been plastered all over the news as this bad guy. He's already put all this money into mm-hmm. defending himself. It, like, he's ruined regardless of whether or not he comes out innocent on the other side. So that's that's basically the the state in Canada right now. So the police aren't going to show up at, at a yeah. door and just like arrest people. Oh, we saw this YouTube video. Yep. There's a. It's a lot more. You're you're going to see it a mile away. Yeah, yeah, I would I would say you'd probably get served papers before. I mean, we we go out. We we soul win. It gets cold in the winter time, so what we do is we, we sneak into buildings. So we'll just we'll just go to like low income buildings that have like like eleven, twelve floors and we'll just stand there in the lobby and there's people coming in and out. We just walk in and then we'll start at the top and we'll work our way down. So last winter we, we saw four salvations per the six buildings that we uh, or no some of that. I don't know. We got, we got to 40 in the wintertime, salvations, and it was just okay. by doing that. And we can do it in the warmth, right? It, you know, usually what we do is we, we you know, run, run from our cars with no clothes, like no, no coat on, <laughs> right? Because once you're in the building, you're going right. to sweat to death, right? So we get in there, we do our soul winning, and then we take off. But that's considered trespassing. That wouldn't be cool. And so superintendents will sometimes come and run us off. But for the most part, we have, we have free course. We can go and we can preach anywhere. We go soul winning uh, when the weather's nicer. I, I love being outside and going and knocking doors because six months of our year we're inside and we're in these like stinky apartment buildings and it's not very fun, not very nice. But yeah, we, we have free course to do that. Um, 
I've, I've never had problems or heard anything. We, we can preach it. But mm-hmm. I think once we're broadcasting it, I mean, if something like Pastor uh, Jimenez's situation with the Pulse nightclub would have happened to me, that would have been it. <laughs> I, I don't have a job. I'm in jail. My family don't have a dad. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's just the case. So, And it's coming here, just, just so you know. If you were to look at Great Britain, we're five years or so behind them, and they're just unrolling it. America is going to be next to kind of have to deal with some of these things. I know some of the states are really standing against it, but this is this is the world that we live in. We're just a little further down the line. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough. Yeah, America, it's come to America. All the language is already there. Everybody's already pushing for it. Um, the Democrats had that big uh, thing where they talked about. You probably heard about it, but the alphabet people all got together, and the one presidential candidate said, you know, well, I, we're going to take away tax-exempt status for anybody that says that gay marriage, just gay marriage is bad, like we don't agree with it, let alone saying they should be stoned to death, you know. So yeah. um, anyway, I mean, we just got to keep preaching while we have the chance here. Amen. Do you have a, a plan? Do you have a plan, like, uh, and if you're just going to go as, as long as you can and preach as hard as you can? <laughs> I, I, pre- I preached a sermon not too long ago called Plan for Prison to our, congreg- <laughs> to our congregation. So there you, you go. can go check that out. That's my plan. It actually involves, right. it revolves a lot around uh, the people that are outside of prison because you saw all the time in the Bible where, uh, you know, uh, a preacher was thrown in prison, but, but the, the, the church still met and fellowshiped and, and, and lifted up the preacher in prayer. And we saw, yes, we saw amen. prison cells bust open. We saw, amen. we saw people get saved through them actually being in prison. So that's, that's the main focus. I mean, I mean, I, I'm resolved. I'm, I'm set and, you know, just kind of doing what I'm doing and trying to, trying to be a good employee to my employer, trying to, to be a good citizen to my, my, my immediate neighbors, uh, just, just trying to love people and do the best I can. But the reality is, is that that one day I could be, I could be thrown or cast out as, as some sort of wicked person, and and you know we got to kind of be prepared for that. Was there another hand? There's a bill of rights, but it's always superseded by the, by the. Um, the, the, like there would be like our Congress or our, yeah they would they could so so the yeah. the Bill of Rights can obviously be interpreted and, yeah. and done all sorts of things with depending it's on really it. It, it's not that different from yeah, America yeah, exactly it's, it's, you're right it's it's true I think I think our people are just more more uh, well the jokes like Canadians you know you you can kick them and they're gonna say sorry right we're just we're very we're very uh, I don't know if we got more fluoride in our water or what it is we're, we're very laid back right we're just we're just kind of docile and we just let things go yeah that's what happened yeah but Yeah, as as long as we got our hockey and our Tim Hortons, Canadians are happy. <laughs> no <laughs> dude about just, it. No dude about it, right? Yeah. yeah. So any uh, any other questions? Yes, sir. Now, you know that you can't go up there and uh, uh, start too much. Uh, yeah, that's cause that's. Because you, you know, it's, we have a. There you go. Just come get me. Just yeah. That's right. That's not what we're gonna do, you know. And then you're not gonna be the first one on on the list of people to come and get like to to you know start a war with Canada over, you know. <laughs> um, boy, yeah. Because America is not, you know, e- e- no matter Republican or Democrat, they're very intolerant of this. I mean, even the president we have now, everybody says he's for religious freedom. But yet he's all for the alphabet people, like just yeah. constantly waving their flag and everything. So can't count on that. So, but here's the thing: the great thing is, is we live by faith, and we can just count on the Lord. Yeah, amen. No matter. So uh, anyway, any others? We know that the tribulation is going to come, and it could come in our lifetime. And so some of these places in America, we kind of look at the world uh, through a different lens, and we're like, man, it's getting bad in America. Yeah. You know, but it's been bad in other places 
a long time. <laughs> I, I've <laughs> always think about China and places yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah they're so. meeting in, in hidden rooms, you know, whispering the hymns. Could you imagine sitting there and not being able to sing out, right? God wants us to, to right. shout out when we're singing, but but there's places in the world where they got to do it all secretly. Uh, we're not there yet, but it's it's coming. But I've always been encouraged when I come to America. You guys got you guys got an open door. I mean, Amen. because everyone's at least somewhat religious. Everyone you're not you're not starting from who in the world Jesus is when you go to like a door you, most people if they're catholic they got they got everything basically down but they don't understand Christ's sacrifice as being as being right. all as being everything that they need right you just kind of got to connect the dots for people down here whereas whereas Canada's getting a little bit more dark and 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 people um if you do come to them with religion, they're just like ah, and they just don't want to hear it. It's very, it's very socialist, and it's, and it's a type. People are very. I mean, we we've been we've been toying with the idea of making a, a video just just entitled like soul winning in Canada, and just like showing all the slam doors and all the like yelling and all the like it it it's not like that all the time, but it, it can be it can be pretty heavy. Um, but I have noticed when I come down here, like just just this weekend, I stopped at a little little trailer park, and in like an hour, I saw three salvations. Mm, and I spent a good time well. with these people, and it was and it was good. It was just you know people are ready. You might have to go to the different neighborhoods that aren't so uppity, but but you guys still have an open door down here. There's still Absolutely. a lot of work that can be done in the states, and and so that's that's why I like to come here sometimes and just just enjoy being here because it's it seems a lot freer here. It seems a lot a, a lot nicer and more receptive. Yeah. You can pretty much get out of your car any place you want. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're not riding a bicycle or uh, you know wearing a white shirt, you'll probably get you know uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, right. I'm I'm a Baptist. We need that T-shirt. Yeah. Baptist. Yeah. 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 You, you, gotta, you gotta have. You know. <laughs> yeah. Not. A, they say we've had that happen before. We could tell stories, but um, are there any other um, questions before we dismiss? Got a question, kids? Any anything about Canada you want to know? Your homeschoolers? Even even something silly. It's fine. Yeah. Just ask anything. And you can. Do we live in igloos? Do we, drive, <laughs> do, we do we have dog sleds everywhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, hey, let's uh, let's let's have a word of prayer. We're gonna pray for their church and pray for Brother Josh. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that you'd bless. Um, Lord, sound words, Baptist Church. I pray that you bless uh, Brother Josh here as he's uh, taken on um, leadership here in this congregation. God, he's uh, Lord trying to take make take a stand, Lord, in a place uh, and fearlessly, Lord, saying that he's even willing to go to jail for you. And Lord, I pray that you put that hedge of protection about him, Lord. And Lord, if there is some purpose or or way that you could pro, you know bring the gospel. Lord, even to the, even in a greater way through the into that darkness up there, Lord, mm-hmm. uh, using him and putting him in, even in, into jail or uh, through uh, hardship, Lord, I pray that he would be willing to walk through those those doors as he said he would, and just be willing to stay faithful all the way to the end, and just live by faith like the apostles did, the the people in Acts, Lord, in those early days. Lord, as we see the persecution coming, Lord, I pray that we would uh, follow their example, Lord, Brother Joss's example there in uh, Canada, and not uh, turn aside in fear. And I pray, Lord, that you just continue to raise up more soul winners up there and down here. And Lord, may the light of the gospel increase, Lord, as the persecution increases. And I pray that you just help us all to have resolve in our heart. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you. Dismiss. The second service is uh, a little after 1.30. So. All right. God bless you. Thank you, brother.